Mr. Fry's Man, and Pembroke Pines. I have a question. I want to know, do you treat all your employees the way you've been treating my daughter? They employed my daughter. She worked enough to get about two paychecks. His wife, Omar, I believe, wife, is in charge of putting people onto the schedule. And how my daughter would know she has to work, I think it comes through like a text message. She continued to text Omar's wife with no response. The way they handle their employees is disgusting. My daughter is 21 years old. She was proud to get, you know, employment here. Just like her other places of employment. But the establishment, management, I'm going to keep that to myself and try to keep it as, you know, clean as I can. Like I said, she worked enough to get about two paychecks. This lady never called or sent her an uh, email, text saying she was on the schedule. So I called in myself, left a message. The young lady who answered the phone gave me Omar's number. I left a message on Omar's phone. I think he called me back the next day. I thought we had a decent, honest conversation. He was saying to me something about inflation. Oh, they didn't have enough um, money to, you know, pay people on the payroll. But it's funny we call in and you have new employees. You never know who knows who. But again, we call, we ask, are you guys hiring? Yes. How you hiring and you have my daughter still on standby? Oh, you want her to quit? Another incident that happened, I don't know if they planted three fucking dollars, okay? They added my baby to a group text, both of her numbers, asking, did anyone see? We still have the message. Anyone see the three dollars? Bitch, don't try my baby about no damn three dollars at all. Because I have a business of my own. Hello? Three fucking dollars? Then later on, they go to tell me they know who took the money. The young man is no longer employed there. Next time when y'all ask like my daughter text your wife back, check those damn cameras. Do so and go directly to the person. Don't make your employees feel that way. Because I'm going to tell you one thing about mine. They don't have to steal shit. If I got to get out here and shake a little bit. They don't have to steal shit. But Mr. Fries Man, the way you treat your employees are disgusting. Well, my baby, let me speak for me. And I know she's not the only way by having conversations with your other employers. Get it together, Mr. Fry Man. You told me to keep promoting you. How about that? Oh, I'm not done, Mr. Fries Man. Also, he have his mother. I don't know if it's the wife, mother, or his mother that works here. When I tell you, my daughter, she's not disrespectful, but she found it hard to work here because the lady, the mother, she would come in and just be staring at her. She didn't speak English, but she would, you know, be trying to tell her what to do when she knew what to do. They felt comfortable enough to leave my daughter alone. I mean, right away from the first day because she know what she's doing. She's been around a bigger establishment than Mr. Fry's man and they still want her back. But here, the mother would just stand around, watch her. One day she was watching her so hard so she almost started a fire. Did you all know that? Oops, Mr. Fry's man, your mother. Employers shouldn't be made to feel uncomfortable. You should make them feel comfortable and try to bring in much funds as they can. You never know who you're dealing with. You never know. And like I said, and I told you, I wanted to have a conversation before taking it here. And when I first came, like I said, I put you on social media and even in the conversation that you and I had, you told me, oh, remember how you got the foodies to come in? The first foodies, it was doing great. But now you say it's not doing so great. I said, okay, I put you on social media, you know, trying to promote you. Oh, you told me to keep doing what I was doing. Who, you, who the hell you think he was talking to? You want me to promote you for free? 
and you doing my baby the way you doing her, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. But see, God don't like ugly. And I believe in God, excuse me, in that first video. But I am hated. What goes around comes around. And right now, I feel like you all are full of the stuff that you put onto your fries. Shit. Yeah. Full of it. Again, I don't appreciate the way you treat your employers. She's not the first. People talk. Ooh, did you know? People talk. You'll be surprised what I know. But again, have a family me um, meeting because it's your wife, it's you, your mom, her mom, whoever mom. But when people come in, she's just standing there staring them down all day, they whole shift. Uncomfortable.